Hi, Matthew. Now, remember I told you about this is all about the fool's journey. When the fool goes from 1 through 10, it completes one aspect of his journey. We have many journeys in life. That we meet new people, then we say, okay, now that's a stage in my life I don't want to repeat. Well, here we are all on another journey, but this one is more of a spiritual journey. After you went through the Wheel of Fortune and you decided to say, well, I'm finished with that life, and you went on to a new life, and you you, you made amends where you needed to, and, and you asked for forgiveness in other places. And so then you started to encounter you know more difficult things within your personality. You went through the devil, you went through the death card, you went through a lot of stuff. And what you're, the whole spiritual journey is about coming to a place where you no longer are reactive, where you come to a place of detachment and joy within yourself. So that's why some of these cards really seem really difficult to get through. But they're all aspects of your particular journey and particular phases in your life. So because you went through the devil card, which we outlined really well, and and got rid of a lot of things in your life, well, you, you still want to become even emptier. You still don't want to have any junk hanging out in your life. And so you, you want to get rid of maybe friends that, that don't serve you, that, that don't do nice things to you. And all of a sudden, you know, you're seeing them differently. Or you might want to get rid of a job. It really, you know, is, is like it's not, it's not interesting to you. You want to go to another aspect of your life. Well, in that case, you would get the Tower card. The Tower card is, you see, it looks violent almost, but it's like the guy is like tossing everything out of his life. Relationships. He's like taking like the roof off of his, of his, where he lives. He's just really wanting to free himself of everything that stands in the way of his awareness. He wants to become cleaner and clearer and more in touch with who he really is. So that's when you get the Tower card. It's a great card of upheaval. And sometimes people like think, oh my God, everything seems to be leaving. But if you just hang in, new things will be given to you. Because they say that nature abhors a vacuum. So as soon as you free, you're, it's just like cleaning out your closet. Do you ever know how once you start to clean out your closet, people start to give you clothes? It's the same kind of thing. Once you start to clean out stuff inside you that doesn't serve you, other things are added on to you that are much more beneficial to you. So that's the meaning of the tower. Bye.